Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie, back with another Aliens review. Well, Aliens. I have re reviewed the Nostromo from Alien uh, way back when. Check out the description box below for that playlist. But finally, I have my hands on the Sulaco. Um, I missed this the first time around and I'm quite delighted to actually have the Sulaco in my possession now. For full transparency, this model was gifted by Eagle Moss. Again, my reviews are my own. There's no conditions with that. Uh, so again, the thoughts and opinions, uh, again, are my own. So stay tuned and uh, we'll have a look at this pretty iconic ship. Okay, so nice box. You have just your standard kind of business stuff and here's your link down there. Um, again, I have the link down in the description box as well if you want to check availability and pricing on the unit. Because they do fluctuate and there may be offers on the website and stuff like that. Um, here we have a little bit of an info sheet. Which gives us a little bit of information there and some of the other kind of figurines which I don't uh, collect or anything like that. And we have the Alien and Predator Figurine Collection Certificate of Authenticity. So this is 1,763 of 3,000. So again, you get that seal with it. And actually, ooh, that's quite a nice graphic on the back of that as well. Well, let's get to the, let's get to the, the piece de resistance. Getting all multilingual in my videos lately. Ta-da! Okay. The design, oh, I'm just, I'm looking at bits of it already. Um, let's have a look at the base first off. So you have your aliens, uh, USS Sulaco, and you have mount with actually a peg in it. Not many ships with the uh, Eagle Moss actually have a peg hole in it, but sometimes the design necessitates that. Let's take the Sulaco out of its box. Ooh, there's a bit of weight back of it as well. And uh, there's a little bit of aero board in there as well. And uh, let's get up close and personal with the Sulaco, shall we? Here we go, everybody. The USS Sulaco, this 400 meter long beastie. So this was the United States Colonial Marine Corps vessel that uh, basically was the home to the 2nd Battalion Bravo team. If you remember from the movie Aliens, a little bit more aero board in there. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it just has that real kind of classic cinematic presence, the elongated, uh, huge ship with all the antennae and detailing at the front of it as well. There seems to be a nice amount of uh, hull detailing on the sculpt. Um, obviously, you have various shades of grey along the ship as well. Uh, which would be kind of, as, as memory serves, representative of what we saw on screen. And there's a lot of detail at the front of the ship and on the port and starboard quarters of it as well. So let's do a kind of close pass of the ship and uh, we'll get um, some detail shots here and we'll check it out. So here we have the front kind of antennae modules there. So they're all plastic. Um, so they are bendable. So that can be handy and treacherous for shipping as well. So just be conscious of when you're taking them out of the box on that side of things. Uh, as you can see, one of them is a little bit, I think it's the middle one, it's just a little bit kind of off angle here. But you don't really notice this when you're looking at the side. You have your decal there, the USS Sulaco. And as I say, you have a kind of aztec pattern on the paint, as you can see it just kind of glistening with the different lighting that I have here. And then you have your main undercoat and main primary color. You're not going to see the undercoat because of the undercoat, obviously. But um, you have your paneling throughout and then again some detailing here. There's almost kind of like a bit of a kind of black wash on these parts here just to kind of bring out some of the detailing. And you have your side modules here. A little bit of a kind of paint anomaly on this side. As you can see, it's kind of like a drip or so. Which, mm, bit of a pain. Potentially, that could be remedied. Uh, it is partially hidden as well, to be honest with you. Um, you have your weapon placements, so you have your turrets, dorsal ventral, and then you have ones on the side as well. Again, given that kind of battleship 
gunship effect and then if we kind of again zoom in here you see you have some additional detailing some textures going down to the engine module as well so you have a narrowing down here with some additional mold detailing into the aft unit if i can get that in focus there as well nice bit of detail and actually back there too nice bit of architecture and geometry and then we'll have a look at the other side as well which should be pretty much a mirror image and again some nice detail on that bottom piece there's your peg mount all the gun turrets seem to be pretty much aligned some obviously drift because these guys are plastic as well the main body of it die cast and again you have your bridge sections and again you have your uss Sulaco on that as well it's actually quite nice to be honest with you and um, it's quite large actually as well so if you can kind of see those familiar with uh my reviews uh again this is quite quite substantial even in comparison to my own hand as you can see there i don't have the exact measurements of it um, and there's a good bit of weight to it as well looking at the kind of dorsal and ventral sides you have that whole detailing and the aztecan across the top there you have your top turret and some nice kind of greebles detailing there as well and again the ventral side Again, it's not a mirror version, so you have kind of unique detailing. A lot more detailing on the ventral side, actually. As you can see there. It's actually quite nice. That's a really nice model, actually. I do like that. Let's put her on the stand and um, have a look at some other detailing, if we can spot it. It actually looks quite nice on the stand. Um, the slender mount, I know it does go into the model which is a little bit unusual for the majority of the Eagle Moss ships, especially their Star Trek ships. But uh, you have a nice elevation, kind of drawing your eye to the front of the ship. Um, and just depending on the way the light hits it, as you can see, I've, I've, I have two kind of types of light. I have natural light on the left, and I have an artificial kind of warm light on the right. So you can kind of see the way it, tonally it may change throughout the day for your uh, collection. But I think it's pretty good. From what I remember, uh, the movie, um, the Slacko, is, is pretty on point for a lot of the details. Obviously, for the type of product it is, there may be one or two things that didn't translate from the actual practical model. But um, yeah, I'm delighted to actually have this finally. Um, I think it's going to sit very cool with the Nostromo. So do check out that review. Uh, the playlist is in the description box below. But um, yeah, I just think, you know, I have my own 2nd Battalion Bravo now. Um, I don't think we're going to be sending it to LV426 anytime soon. So I think we'll keep it here in the Irish Trekkie collection just for a little bit. But um, I'm delighted really to have a piece of kind of cinematic goodness in the collection as well. I do like my Star Trek ships, but man, do I love these just behemoths. Uh, from the Alien and like, you know, other franchises as well. If, if I could have models from the likes of Battlestar Galactica, Firefly, Stargate, Babylon 5, forget about it. You know, oh my God, man, there's some sci there's some sci-fi gems out there as well. Folks, let me know at home. What do you think of the Sulaco? Um, is it a go? Is it a no? Uh, so sound off in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell because there's a lot of videos coming to you in September and beyond. So be sure you don't miss out. And uh, you can support the channel by going to Patreon in the description below as well, uh, which helps me out immensely. So thanks for your support. I've been your local Irish Trekkie and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye.